I remember one time when I was walking up a big flight of stairs at work, the person got up to the second floor. I thought I was going to pass out in the hallway. So I've had lots of different heart issues for a long, long time. It's just kind of part of who I am. Well, I was uh, really, really tired all the time. I had to, I'd come in from a half a day of work, take a power nap. Yeah, I was afraid to walk from here to the steps because afraid I'd fall down. That was that scary. So and I was holding on to something the whole time. And, um, you know, they referred me, obviously, to a cardiologist. I went to see Dr. Baysmore and the die was cast. I wasn't scared at all. I mean, he really gives you a confident feeling. So Pam had pretty classic symptoms of AFib. She felt the heart racing, uh, nonspecific unease. Some people feel some shortness of breath. And you know, her heart rate was going so slow that she would have needed a pacemaker if we hadn't done something different for her. When Cynthia came to me with uh, some symptoms of uh, feeling fatigue and uh, just feeling tired, initially she thought it was just related to perhaps getting on with the age. Pulse field ablation is uh, actually a new form of technology and for the first time we are using an approach that has the advantage of pulse field ablation is that it targets specifically the heart tissue and makes uh, collateral damage around important structures around the heart less likely. Before pulse field, we would use thermal ablation to either heat up the tissue or freeze the tissue to keep those signals from coming out. Pulse field ablation is a way that we can safely affect the heart without the neighboring structures. We go in through the vein in the leg up to the heart with a catheter, um, but this tip, instead of heating up the tissue or freezing the tissue, emits an electric field that selectively ablates and targets those irritable signals in the heart. I think it's very exciting uh, to be one of the first uh, doctors to offer this technology to patients. It is a very promising technology. Uh, in the early clinical studies, it has proven to be uh, safe and also uh, able to perform the ablation in a shorter duration of time. Patients often feel better after pulse field ablation um, because there's less inflammation and irritation um, with this energy delivery system. Um, cardiology has come a long way that we can help people in a minimally invasive manner. No One Health as an organization is constantly willing to explore newer technologies that can help deliver patient care in a safer manner. I, I don't feel as old as I am. I am now 71. I'm glad I had it done. I wouldn't hesitate. I'd, in fact, I'd tell anybody, don't even hesitate. Just take the first date they got because you're going to be glad. For sure that you definitely have to listen to what your body's telling you. I have a family that I care a tremendous amount about and I want to be around for them. So you don't want to put things on the back burner.